The North Alabama women were back in CBS Bank Arena, plus the North Alabama men looked to rebound after a tough loss last night. It's coming up next on Exports Tonight. From the Exports Network, this is Exports Tonight. Welcome to Exports Tonight. I'm AJ Good, starting things off with women's college basketball, where North Alabama was back in Florence tonight. The Lions were taken on Jacksonville as they are looking to continue to improve their seating in next week's conference tournament. Lions trying to clinch a berth in the conference tournament next week in this one. Here in the first quarter, Skylar Gill with the turnaround floater in the lane. She would finish with 12 points. And Jade Moore here from the wing is going to bury home the three-pointer. Then later, after breaking the zone, it's Moore again. Same spot, same result, hitting another three. Then Hina Suzuki drives and finds Ruth Balagoon for the uh, two-pointer. The Lions were up a seven at the half. Here in the fourth quarter, it's Emma K. Tittle getting the runner in the lane to roll in. Then it's Alyssa Clutter going to come up with some great defense, a steal, and takes it to the other end for the finish. Then Moore, once again, from the wing, is going to knock down another three-pointer. Then it's Alexis Callens, this time getting in on the scoring with her team down one. She goes nothing but net for three of her 12 points on the night. Then Jade Moore going to seal it here with another three. She would finish with a game-high 15. The Lions going to win this one 55-52. to Coming up next, we head on over to the men's side where the Lions are looking to rebound after a tough loss to Kennesaw State. Hey y'all, Fred Webb here, United Country, Southern Tennessee Realty. You get ready to sell your property, give one of these sales professionals a call today. Hunter Webb, Farm and Land Sales Specialist, 931-321-8226. Tommy Johnson, the Wayne County Connection, 931-722-4840. Tyler Webb, 731-438-2084. It's a slam dunk when you list with United Country, Southern Tennessee Realty. It's time for some straight talk about zero-turn mowers. Husqvarna zero-turn performance mowers with rugged commercial drive give you high performance and a comfortable ride. Heavy-duty frame and chassis and commercial hydraulics take no punishment. With warranties now up to five years and low financing options, there's no competition. For a straight up deal on the best in professional zero turn mowers, go straight to your Husqvarna dealer. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. From the Exports Network, this is the North Alabama Report, presented by First Class Charter. Welcome back to Exports Tonight. Now over to men's college basketball where North Alabama is looking to rebound after a tough loss last night at home. They have a big one against a local rival in Jacksonville State coming up tomorrow night where they hope to improve their seating in next week's conference tournament. The Lions will be back in CBNS Bank Arena for the regular season finale as Jacksonville State comes to town. North Alabama won the previous matchup between the two in the conference opener. Seeding will be a big part of tomorrow night's game. The Lions still have a shot at the four seed, but first they need to take care of business against the Gamecocks. The reality of the situation is we got another game Friday, so they're not going to come here feeling bad for us. If KZ there or not, whatever it is, they don't care, so you know they're trying to get a dub. So um, reality is, man, we just got to keep going. And um, as far as the fourth seed and stuff, we got to take it on the road. I just I feel like it is what it is. Let's get it. The Lions are open to have K.J. Johnson back in the lineup for Friday. The transfer from Lewisburg hurt his ankle during the week and tried to get ready in time for Kennesaw State. He's one of the big leaders of this team. But if he can't go, head coach Tony Pujol says it's got to be the next guy up. To me, my, my thing is this, and I'm always going to say this, whenever a guy goes down, uh, it's, it's an opportunity for somebody else on the team to step up, right? And uh, again, kudos to, to, to Kennesaw State. They took advantage of those situations uh, because, you know, we, we just had guys tonight not 
not, not to get over the hump, right? They didn't, they didn't really, uh, so th we've, we've gone through this. We, we just got to understand that, uh, you know, we got we to be better. That does it for X Sports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys tomorrow night for the final score. This is the X Sports Network.